Hello and welcome back to day two of Village RV's virtual sale. Thank you all for joining us again. Uh, today we're going to feature bunk models in both travel trailers and fifth wheels. We also snuck a park model in there for you too as well. So uh, again, down below you here, we're on uh, YouTube Premiere. So text us if you want. If you don't want to text, call in to 306-525-5666. Uh, and at the end of the video again today, we're going to draw some great prizes. So go register at our website at villagerv.ca. And uh, thanks again for coming in and let's go. Well, welcome back to day two of the Village RV virtual sale. I'm standing in front of this 2021 Bullet 273BH uh, Ultralight, and I'm here with Adam Pahoko. And Adam, one of the obvious questions that uh, a lot of people have is what exactly is an ultralight? What does that term reference? Well, with this trailer weighing in at only 5,640 pounds, this makes it a true ultralight. It's also 31 feet long. Um, things like the construction play a very large part in the ultralight construction. So things like aluminum wall framing, foam block insulation, um, enclosed, in, heated and enclosed underbelly to keep away that wind resistance. Um, the floor system, the floor joists, they're all aluminum. Now they're double welded on each side um, and they're 16 inch on center in the floor and on the walls they're usually about two feet apart. So not only is this coach light, but it's also very strong. So when you're going down one of our lovely hills here, in, or one of our lovely roads here in Saskatchewan, uh, it's gonna stay together and you're gonna see that you're gonna have increased fuel mileage as well as just the towability in general uh, with this nice beautiful front aerodynamic front cap um, is going to save you some money on the on the fuel gauge. Now I understand this floor is a bit unique too for the industry. How, how is it how is it different? Yeah exclusive to Keystone um, and in this particular model it's actually called a hyperdeck floor. There is no wood in this floor anymore so uh, no squeaks, no rattles, no soft spots. Uh, no separation at the joints. A lot of manufacturers actually use a tongue and groove technology. Uh, that is not the case. This is exclusive hyperdeck flooring. It's actually a composite floor that's in this coach. So and it comes with a 25 year warranty. It won't absorb moisture is what you're saying. Absolutely not. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, what other features about this trailer make it unique? Well, come over here to the other side. I want to show you something here that I really like about the Bullet. And they're doing this now, is they have the, the centralized, complete um, docking station. So everything from your freshwater fill, to your city water connection, to your black tank flush, to your electric stabilizer jacks that are standard on the Keystone Bullet. So you got your back and you got your front. Uh, the key TV signal controller, so what that is, is where your cable or your satellite will come in. It's all in one spot. And what I really like about the Keystone Bullet is, it's got the battery disconnect now up in here. And again, you can see this is all nice and enclosed. It's all centrally located. Um, you can safely lock it and close it up so nobody can actually tamper with it. Because it's actually got a plug right here that you can unscrew and run all your cables run your water lines right up through the bottom and close this full so that nobody can uh, nobody can tamper with it. So, I, yeah. One thing I like uh, from looking at other brands that are that have power jacks is the switches are actually inside the compartment kept clean kept safe from road damage a lot of other brands have them on the outside of the trailer. Absolutely I mean when these are exposed to the elements uh, 365 days a year uh, they typically tend to short circuit not work properly um, with them being in the 
in the box. I like that as well. Yeah, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah. Great They're going to last a lot longer than ones that are actually on the side of the coach. Excellent. Well, should we move around to the far side? Yeah, let's head back around the other side. Adam, one thing I couldn't help but notice standing over there is, is the huge storage compartment in the front of this trailer and a, a massive access. Uh, I mean, that's, this is huge. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, uh, Bullet is notoriously known for having um, one of the largest uh, pass-through storage compartments in the ultralight industry. Uh, as you can see, this door itself is massive. There's actually 43 uh, cubic feet of storage um, all the way through which will allow you to put things like your, your, uh, your, your tables, your chairs, all those big items that you don't want to necessarily or can't store Large inside coolers. the truck. Coolers, heck you could throw your fishing rods up in here. They do have the, um, the plastic pegboard peg so you can hang your tools, axes, fishing rods, all sorts of stuff. And of course there's no carpet in here anymore. This is nice uh, and vinyl product which will allow you to clean this out easily if you do have anything in there that uh, is making it dirty. Excellent. I really like that on this extra uh, oversized uh, baggage door that it does have magnetic door catches. It doesn't have the cheap little plastic clips. It has the magnets which aren't ever going to wear out. Um, I hate yeah. having to hold the compartment door with my head. I mean, when those plastic catches break, I mean, you know, <laughs> what's your other option, right? Absolutely. Uh, Keystone even goes the extra mile and they, they cover your hinge with, or your piano hinge with a, with a cover. I mean, these are, again, these are exposed to the elements. That's just going to keep that hinge uh, from seizing up, from squeaking, from rusting uh, yeah. over time. So Great idea. Yeah. Now let's work our way down the side here. So this bullet has the, is equipped with the Lippert solid steps. Um, great option to have, great feature to have. Uh, they are fully adjustable. They're extra wide, so you're going to notice that these are oversized and they're very wide. So things like pets getting in and out of the coach, nice and easy on their, on their hips. Very stable. Um, very stable. Uh, they come with the grip tape on them so that, you know, you get a little bit of rain, a little bit of uh, do in the morning when you're coming outside to sit under your awning or sit outside and have your morning coffee. You're not gonna you're not gonna end up on your back. They're fully adjustable each leg. Uh, if you're on some une uneven ground and they fold right up inside the coach. Uh, what I really like about that is they're not exposed yeah. to the elements while you're traveling down the road. Oh, I mean, I, I've seen trailers over the years with the regular step that hangs down below that gets hit by some road debris and I mean it gets bent. You have a hard time getting it out. Sometimes they get rusty and then they don't want to open. This looks like a heck of an idea. 100%. This will this will get rid of that right there, right? So, uh, as we make our way down the side, we've got we've got a couple of uh, key features on the outside. We have our um, our output for our key TV. So if you wanted to set up a TV here, you can actually bolt that right onto the wall. Uh, you can have TV under your awning, and again, this is an output for your satellite system. So if you do have an RV satellite, uh, this would be an output. You could watch the rider game, the baseball game, whatever you're into, right under the convenience of your oversized 20-foot awning. Uh, of course, we've got power cable out here as well. Uh, you're going to need that for your TV. Maybe you want to run another little mini fridge out here, um, coffee maker, things like that. Um, directly below, I want to talk about something that is also very important and exclusive to Keystone Bullet is the load equalization axles on this particular unit. So, 43 cubic feet, cubic feet of storage in the front and 43 inch wheel span in the axles. Why is that important? So what that's going to do is when you're traveling down the road on one of those windy days here in Saskatchewan, it's just going to help and ensure that the trailer stays behind the truck okay I'm sure I'm sure you've heard the the term uh, tail wagging the dog or seen trailers going down the road where they're they're kind of dancing all over the road this is going to keep that planted and uh, from a lot of our customer feedback over the years of people that have purchased the bullet uh, and ha that has the load equalization axles um, they will never go back to a trailer that doesn't have that for that sole reason itself more so. stable um, just it's, it's a better towing experience. It's, it's well, and even you're when you're parked, Larry, um, 
you just got a wider stance. You got five, six, seven people in the coach, a whole family in this one because this one's got the bunks. Uh, just going to keep you a lot more stable, a lot more planted, and you're not going to get that rocking, etc. So, Excellent. Sounds, yeah. sounds great. Why don't we go inside, Larry? Okay. Okay, well, we're inside this 2021 Keystone Bullet 273BH, and uh, first thing that grabs me is how bright it is. The cabinetry is so light and uh, the floor plan is so welcoming. I, I just love this. Very residential, very modern. This is Bullet's uh, coastal cottage interior. They've been doing this. This will be the second year. Um, first year it got introduced into our market and it's gone over very well. Um, everybody likes now that campers that the that these campers are a little brighter. They're yeah. a little more warm. They're a lot more residential, and like I said earlier, uh, quite a bit more modern when from what we're uh, typically used to seeing. Yeah, very unique for our industry. Very, very unique. Kitchen. Uh, I mean, lots of drawers, uh, countertop. Uh, you know, pretty spacious, and uh, I love the residential oven and stovetop. Absolutely. Um, they've gone ahead this year and they've gone with a seamless countertop. So there's no more T-mold in the edge on this one. Um, they've incorporated a uh, undermount stainless steel sink opposed to a uh, typical plastic sink. And then they've uh, incorporated the stainless steel faucet as well, which I love. High neck so you can get a big pot underneath there. Exactly. And a nice deep sink so you can wash all those pots and pans when you're, when you're, uh, when you're doing your camping. Uh, I really love the pop-up receptacles in the bullets, nice hidden away. You basically just push on them, they pop back up. We've got two uh, 110 volts in there, and then we've got two USB ports. Yeah, you can plug a cell phone in right there as well. Cell phone, you want to do your coffee maker. Typically, on most on most, uh, most of the other brands out there, you're going to see a lot of your plugins up here, which can really start to be a pain in the butt, uh, plugging everything in up here. Yeah, I not really very like practical. It. Yeah, and if you don't need it, you can put it away. Lots of counter space. I love what they do with the uh, the new Furion stovetop um, slash oven. Uh, they do the flush mount bifold, so this folds right up. Little mini backsplash, um, kind of like a second backsplash, I should say. And of course, you got the three burner cooktop. I mean, you're not cooking. You need that counter space. You need that prep space to make your lunch or uh, make some burgers, something like that. You've got a ample ample counter or uh, countertop space to, to do that. Lights are a nice touch. Yeah, and that can be shut off. That does provide a really nice glow at night for getting around the camper. Anybody's got to get up in the night, you can shut them off. And then of course, it's got the big oven uh, for doing any sort of, you want to throw pizza in there while you're cooking as well. I noticed the drawers, I was looking at it earlier, and they go, the extension is full. So you get access right to the back of the drawer. Yeah, absolutely. These are full extension drawers, uh, about 75 pounds um, per drawer. Per drawer, yeah, absolutely. We got three of those. So all your utensils, all your cooking thing items, nice easy access. I like that this is at the top. And then of course we've got a spot for your garbage can. A lot of the times I see that this is filled with um, wiring or plumbing or um, your drainage system, and you can't actually fit anything in there. Ample space yeah. for a nice size garbage can Excellent. that can be hidden away. I just want to ask about the, about the cabinets themselves. Uh, you know, obviously it's a different color and a new look, but what about construction? So these are these aren't um, wrapped doors. These are actually hardwood doors, tongue and groove um, technology, and they're actually the cabinetry itself, like the cupboard itself, is uh, pre-drilled and screwed together. And the only way that you'll ever actually know if it's pre-drilled screwed and glued together is by reaching your hand around the back and they actually notch them in and that's where they do the pre-drilling. Uh, these cupboards aren't stapled together, they're not just glued together and uh, Keystone even goes the extra mile and when they attach your cabinetry to the wall they don't just attach it right to the wall stud. Uh, what they do is they do a steel backer in the wall your cabinetry actually attaches to that steel backing plate. A little different than some of the other stuff on the market. Oh, very stable and secure. And yeah, I mean, uh, these campers are going down the road. They're going down our lovely Saskatchewan highways. They're bouncing around. And of course, there's going to be weight in those cupboards. So mm -hmm. uh, over time, we've seen uh, trade-ins come in in other brands where a lot of these cabinets are loose. Uh, they're not fully attached to the wall anymore um, for, the, for those reasons where it doesn't have the backing plates and they're not actually pre-drilled, screwed and glued together. So yeah. We have yeah. seen in our service department over the years uh, some brands coming in 
uh, on their holiday where the cabinets have actually let go and oh yeah you know we're we're on the countertop we've had to do some repairs so that that's a very very important uh, construction process and you know leave it to keystone to come up with that absolutely i mean it's a lot of that behind the scenes stuff that really makes a big difference and actually gives you that extra added value when you're when you're purchasing a keystone product absolutely fridge looks like a you know, very large fridge. Yeah, typically for the most part, you're gonna see a six cubic foot fridge and pretty much everything of this size in this model um, in some of the other brands out there. Uh, this is a t this is standard. We didn't uh, upgrade this. This isn't an added cost. This comes right from the factory with an eight cubic foot uh, fridge uh, refrigerator. This of course got the double door. We got the fridge up, or we got the freezer up top. Um, this yeah. is a electric slash gas so runs on propane or runs on electricity it does have the automatic switch over so if you are ever plugged in at the campsite and you're plugged into just straight standard 110 maybe you get a power outage you guys aren't around uh, as long as you got your tanks open and have it in the auto mode it'll actually switch right back to propane for excellent. you and keep your stuff cold while the power is out excellent Looks like lots of storage on that side of the fridge. Awesome amount of storage in the Bullet 273. We got the left side here, which has three shelves. All three shelves are fully adjustable, so we can set those up exactly how we want them. And then on the right side, we got a great closet for uh, hanging your coats, extra clothing, anything like that. We can do some shoe storage down in the bottom here. And then we actually even have another cupboard below for any of those odds and ends, things like that. Yeah, well, you can't have too much. That's for sure. And of course, in keeping with our uh, theme for today of bunk bed models, I can see this has been equipped with two double over double bunks, which, uh, I mean, you can sleep adults on these. They're, they're big enough, uh, so obviously, you know, it's going to be great for kids. Uh, what are these rated for? So these bunks, like you said, these are double over double. These are a little bit of an oversized double over double. Uh, these are rated for 300 pounds each. So the nice thing about these bunks and this bunk system itself is um, if you're buying this camper right now, your kids are maybe four or five, six years old, they're not going to outgrow the camper and you're not going to be finding yourself upgrading in, you know, three, four years. These bunks are fully capable of sleeping adults and they're long enough so that your kids can actually grow into these bunks and not grow out of them. Um, I really, really like that these bunks um, are somewhat separated. They do have the separation curtain so that we can uh, we can still have a little bit of an entertaining area while the kids are sleeping. If maybe the adults are inside at night watching a movie, something like that. Um, but they also have plug-ins and storage in each bunk. So maybe mom and dad want to put the kids away uh, to bed. They want to lay in their beds and maybe play on their iPads, watch a movie. They have everything they need to store that stuff, power that stuff, charge that stuff, etc. Excellent. And of course, in the bullet, um, in the Keystone bullet, they have windows in each bunk. That is not something you see in every, every other brand out there. And they both open? They both open. Uh, they both have the blackout uh, curtains on them as well, but a lot of the time you're only going to see a small little window in the top, sometimes in the bottom, or no windows at all. So that makes a big difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, again, you know, this is a bunk bed model. Um, you, you may need to sleep more people than what the bunks uh, offer. What about the other two uh, sitting and eating areas here? Can they be converted to, to beds as well? 100%. So this is uh, your booth dinette, your standard booth dinette. Now typically you're going to see um, the two pole system where you have the two poles as your legs, you pop the top of the table off, you hide those legs underneath, you take the table, you set it on the edge there and you slide all your cushions forward. Um, not a bad system by any means, but this is a way better system. This is a dream dinette. There's no legs to kick. Uh, anybody that's a little bit taller knows knows firsthand that when you sit into a typical booth with the posts you're constantly fighting with those posts and you're constantly usually pressed right up against the table yeah nothing okay. to kick under this table keystone actually um, acquired this idea from a class a motorhome and it's very simple table stays put you un basically unlock it and push this all the way down uh, lift up your cushions on each side 
really nice and stable, a lot stronger than just the, the post system as well. And then these just basically slide right forward and you've got your sleeping space. And as you can see, Larry, that took me under about 15 seconds to yeah, do. Yeah, and it makes it into a, a decent sized bed. Yeah, I mean, depending on the, the size of the person, one adult, two kids, uh, you can make it work both ways. Yeah, excellent. Um, storage under each bunk, instead of having to pop those cushions off and pull up the wood, you can get at that storage from the front. And that's the full depth of the seat too. All the way to the wall. Excellent, what about the sofa? The sofa is what we call in the RV industry a trifold. There's two different sofas. There's a jackknife and there's a trifold. The jackknife just basically lays flat. This is the trifold where it actually pulls out uh, three times or twice to give you that added sleeping space. Basically, just pull your cushions, lift your up. Your cushions can actually get stored down in the bottom there. Okay. Great excellent. spot, so they're out of the way. Full, yeah, just like that, Larry. Then I just pull out the legs here. In a matter of a minute, you've got perfect sleeping space. Excellent. Yeah, yeah and that's that's some high density foam. That's that's pretty that's pretty good. Absolutely. That'd be comfortable. Yep. Morning comes, flip up, pull out your cushions, lift it up, put your sheets down in there if you need, fold in your legs, close her up, we're back into couch mode. Really nice feature to Velcro have. Velcro on the back, so it's the cushion stays up. That's a good idea. Yep. Excellent. Super. Well, I can see this also comes with uh, some entertainment um, items as well. You've got a stereo, looks like, and a TV. Yes, sir. So this is, right when you walk into the coach to your right, you've got uh, some storage, obviously, above here. You can throw, you know, your suntan lotion, anything outdoor that you need to ask, mosquito spray, things like that. And then below, we've got your TV. Now, this TV is hooked up to the entertainment center. This is the Furion Entertainment Center. So this is a Bluetooth a radio, Bluetooth CD player. Um, and DVD. DVD as well, which is integrated into the TV. Uh, different zones for the different speaker systems that you have in this trailer. You have an inside and you have an outside. You can listen just the inside or just the outside. However, or both. You, or both, of course, yep. Um, we've got, like I said, we've got your radio. Uh, we've got plugins on the front here for an aux cable, even though you don't typically technically need it because your phone can sync right up. You can play that music uh, outside the coach from the convenience of your smartphone. Uh, you don't have to drag that cord out the window or out the door anymore. Or of course you can charge your phone here on the front as well. Yeah, uh, the TV swivels, we can have that kind of face anywhere we want in the camper. What I really like about the bullets as well is the centralized um, control center. Okay, so we have our tank levels, we have our slide switch, we have our awning switch, we have our gas electric water heater. This is both, mm -hmm. so this is actually a propane as well as an electric. And then we have our water pump switch, our porch light, and our ceiling lights. I love that it's all in one spot. You're not walking throughout the coach trying to find each individual switch or sometimes they stick them in the bathroom. Yeah, That's okay, but this is a lot better. Oh, for sure. Right above it, we've got our thermostat. This has a centrally ducted Dometic air conditioning system in it. So you, just like at home, you can set your min, you can set your max, same with the heating system. The heating system in this coach has a 30,000 BTU furnace, uh, which is essentially ducted throughout the floor. That's gonna keep you nice and toasty on those cooler nights and maybe you're doing some early May uh, or late September camping. And then of course the air conditioning is gonna keep you cool on those June, July, August hot nights. Yeah, 30,000 BTU is lots for a trailer this size. That's that's excellent. Well, that's the nice thing about Keystone. Um, when they build their coaches, they don't stick a small furnace um, in a small trailer. They keep the same size furnace throughout all their coaches to ensure that they're warm. This trailer doesn't need a 30,000 BTU furnace, but it's got it so that if you ever do need it, you're going to be nice and toasty. Yeah. And I noticed the thermos, the uh, uh, registers, pardon me, are right through the floor, just like at home. Absolutely. Um, no ducting through the cabinets. It's all, it's right in the floor. I'm glad you brought that up, Larry. Uh, a lot of the time now we're seeing the ducts come up through the cabinetry, just like you mentioned. Uh, it's basically just a dryer vent duct. Uh, we'll see it come out of the entertainment centers, sometimes inside the cabinetry in the slides. That every dryer duct is not very efficient. Not at all. And, and what people don't realize is that every time you, you bend or make a turn, you lose about 30 to 40% of your overall efficiency. So it may, in the front of the coach or the front of the camper, 
it'd be nice and warm. And then as you get farther towards the back, where that piping had to get routed in order to fit on the side of maybe a cabinet or uh, the bottom of the bunk, it's going to be a lot less um, airflow because of all those bends in the system. So yeah, you know what, you do have a register in the floor that you might have to pop out once or twice during the year to keep clean, but at the end of the day, this is the exact same heating system or technology that you would have in your home throughout the floor to keep you nice and toasty, and that's what you want in an RV. Yeah, that's excellent. I mean, it's, it's hard to beat. Absolutely. And the air conditioning is ducted through the ceiling, I presume? Yes, absolutely. So you're going to see all these little white ducts throughout the coach. There's going to be one in the bathroom. There's going to be a couple at the back. There's going to be one in the bedroom. It's going to do the same thing. It's yeah. going to keep you nice and cool. Uh, it does have the quick cool option, so you can just open it up right here. Excellent. Well, cold air settles, hot air rises, so it's, I mean, it's plumbed the way it should be. Exactly. Uh, let's make our way up into the bedroom here quick. I'll show you a few features of the, of the, the main sleeping area. So this, uh, this bed in this uh, bedroom is a true uh, residential length bed. Okay. okay. Um, a lot of the times you get a camper queen, they're going to be about six inches shorter. That is not the case in this particular model. Uh, we've got some overhead storage, of course, and then we've got full wardrobes on each side for him and her. We've got drawers below for socks, things like that. Full extension drawers again, of course. What I really like what Bullet's done this year is behind the pantry, or sorry, the wardrobe, they've gone ahead and they put a little shelf in there, okay? Uh, nowadays, there's a lot of people that are, are having to bring their uh, CPAP machines with them, and this is a great spot to put them. You can run your cord right through the shelf, underneath, plug right in. There's actually a, two outlets there for 110, and then there's actually two outlets there for USB, and that's exactly the same from left to right. Um, great place to charge your phone, Blake, great place to also um, plug in your uh, iPad, stash your book, glass of water, things like that for uh, when you wake up in the morning, everything's, everything's there for you. Uh, there is TV hookups in this um, bedroom area as well, in case you wanna have a separate area for that. You wanna lay in bed, watch a movie, that's all up on the wall there. So that wall's braced. Of course, this is an aluminum frame trailer, so nice and strong. They do some added structure on the wall there to ensure that when you put that wall bracket and put that maybe 32 inch TV up there, that it's gonna be able to uh, handle the weight, of course, right? Yeah, and in keeping with that, the front master has pocket doors, not curtains. Yeah, sometimes you'll see curtains here. Um, I like the fact that it's got the, the hard doors. It just adds some, just a little more added privacy for the area, um, especially with sound, we can close those doors nice and easy. It really separates the bedroom from the main living, uh, main living area in case maybe uh, mom and dad want to sleep in a little longer in the morning. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, I think we've covered this floor plan pretty well, Adam. Is there anything else you want to add? No, I don't think so. I think we've covered everything. This is one of our... Uh, one of our most popular floor plans, of course, the, the double over double. We've got the couch, the booth dinette. We've got the oversized fridge. Um, this is a ultralight 2021 bullet by Keystone 273 uh, BHS. Um, if this you feel that this trailer is the one for you, you feel that uh, you want to put a deposit down, uh, give us a call, uh, even throw us a text. We have salesmen. Um, standing by, ready to answer your questions, uh, take your deposit. Um, yeah, they may have questions on something that we covered really quickly and, and or didn't touch on at all that uh, we have people here that can answer those for you, so by all means call us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's about it. Um, we've got plenty more trailers to show you that are on sale today. Um, so uh, let's head over and... We have some more bunk models coming up, so uh, stay tuned. And again, if you have questions, give us a call. Thanks for tuning in.
right, campers, welcome back to our parts showcase. I'm here with our parts expert, Morgan Schaefer. Uh, Morgan, you got some uh, locking device in your hands there. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, this guy here, it's a universal coupler lock. So basically this unit is essential for if you plan on leaving your trailer parked on your driveway, parked in the Walmart parking lot or any place that you're leaving your trailer unattended for a certain period of time, you'll want to put this inside just to make sure that no one's going to be taking your trailer without you knowing. Perfect. Yeah. And that'll work for two inch ball, two and five sixteenths ball coupler. Yeah, it works with any coupler that you have. Um, it's a universal coupler lock and basically I'll show you how it works really quickly here. Uh, you'll want to turn the key and this lock ring pops off and you'll put this in the coupler itself with this ring over top. You'll turn the key back around and you'll be able to push down on top of it. Now you're not able to actually pull the yellow piece off from underneath the coupler itself which makes it so no one can actually put their ball into it and drive away with your vehicle or the trailer I guess I should say. Awesome and what do you regularly sell that for? These are $34.95 regularly. And what do you have it on for sale? $24.95. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks again Morgan. No problem. Now we're back at Village RV day two of our virtual sale. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're gonna to focus on bunk bed trailers. This little Passport 240 is a great little floor plan. Uh, lots of features, lots of family friendly features. And you know what, Brad Peaver is gonna go over what those things are for us. And Brad, why don't you explain what makes this so popular? Thanks, Larry, absolutely. Welcome everybody. So yeah, as Larry mentioned, we have the Passport 240BH here today. This unit is gonna be just a tick over 5,000 pounds, so about 5,060 5, pounds, I believe, total, uh, dry weight, uh, so certainly half ton towable. And it's gonna come in at about uh, 27 feet, a little over 27 feet uh, bumper to bumper, or hitch to bumper uh, for length. So certainly well within, uh, you know, those uh, those smaller campsite range lengths yeah. and uh, and half ton towable. Some uh, some SUVs as well. Absolutely. So we're just going to do a quick tour around the outside, uh, show you some of the features that we do have on the outside, and then uh, we'll take a step in after and and show the inside of it. Uh, starting with uh, LED lighting and a very nice size awning. Um, as you can see by the look of the. Uh, by looking at it, that this awning almost goes the full length of the camper. Uh, makes for great uh, evenings or, or days outside when the weather is a touch inclement. Um, you can throw that awning out uh, and, and be out of the weather for yeah, the most part. Yeah, lots of room for picnic table, chairs. Yeah, it's all under the awning. That's yeah. great size. Yeah, you bet. Uh, LED lighting, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you're out at night, you want to do some entertaining at night, sit around the campfire, have some ambient lighting. There's that as well, as well as your outdoor speakers, uh, Bluetooth compatible. What I like about these uh, LED rope lights that are built right in is you don't have to cart around extra extra lights and slide them into that track on the on the front of the tube. Very convenient and and it's always there. Absolutely, you just hit a switch right. and they're on. Yeah, true. I mean, it was one of those things years ago where where you had to carry those yourselves. Now they're building them right into the inside of the awning or right along the camper, and uh, it's just one less thing that. Yeah, Keystone's, I think, uh, taking notice of what people want and, exactly. and listening. So that's, that, that is a great option. You bet. One less thing you have to worry about. Uh, coming back a little farther here, we do have a, a smaller outdoor kitchen. Uh, we, you do have your, your fridge. Um, certainly it's a small one, but it's, it's nice for some for adult beverages or kids drinks or whatever the case may be. A little bit extra space. You bet. Kids aren't running in and out to get drinks. or, And then you do have your outdoor cooktop as well. This does connect to the underside of the trailer on the outside uh, just so that that connection is on the outside of the camper not on the inside of the camper right. for safety reasons. System. Absolutely. 
Uh, moving back a little bit further here, you can see we have our outdoor shower. Uh, you have Great dogs, kids. kids getting yeah. dirty, feet dirty, washing things off. You don't want them in the camper. One thing I like about the outside shower on a bunk bed model is if you're in a uh, site that doesn't have water on site, you can use your uh, your shower outside shower, spray the kids off. You're not uh, you don't have to if you're not hooked to sewer, you're not having to worry about that going into your gray tank. It just it just drips on the ground. It, it Absolutely. works great for for young kids. Yeah, good point. Uh, Key TV. We'll discuss that maybe a little bit in the inside, but uh, certainly something that Keystone has come up with themselves in that. Um, you know, the system now is smart enough to know what you're plugged into, whether it's cable, whether it's satellite, you know, whether it's whatever that may be. Um, there used to be switching and you'd have to have jumpers and that type of thing. This is, this is a deal breaker. This is how it happens. It's, it just figures it out. So uh, certainly yeah, something that's yeah, it used to be every every TV hookup in, in a trailer was all independent. Absolutely. Now they're all they're all tied together. Yeah, yeah. So Key TV's got that figured out. Uh, just coming around the back, um, one of the things on this floor plan, which I think is fantastic, is you do have the rear door. So uh, and it is lockable, as you can see there. If you don't want to access from the inside to get out from the inside. You don't have a latch here, so. Yeah, uh, we're worried about kids jumping out in the night. Falling out, jumping out, whatever the case may be. The nice thing about this is exactly, Larry's gonna show you there, that bunk folds up and gives you a ton place. of room to store bikes. You got a locking mechanism here to actually lock up in place. Uh, bikes, uh, barbecues, etc., etc. Yeah, big, so, big coolers, whatever. You bet, tons of, tons of room there. I'm just going to move around to this side here quickly. A couple things I'd like to show you. You know, one of the main things on, on most of these campers these days is, is making sure that you're getting your black waters tanks cleaned and flushed out properly. Uh, this type of, of uh, hookup is invaluable. Um, you want to flush that tank out. You want to make sure that all of the solids are out of the tank. Uh, you hook your hose up to this turn the, the water on, this will open the valve, this will spray around on the inside of the tank and clean that black tank out. That basically is a spray nozzle mounted inside, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's excellent. Get rid of the, get rid of the solids. Well, it just, it keeps it fresher and you know, anybody who uh, has had an RV for any period of time knows that a clean black tank is definitely yeah. a good thing. Yeah, you don't want to have to clean it out. Uh, 30 amp on this unit, nice, uh, nice slide box. Uh, 36 inch slide box. Here's your city water connection, your fresh water connection to uh, to fill up if you do want to do some boondocking or don't have that uh, don't have that uh, hook up where you're going. And then storage, uh, huge pass through storage. Uh, Passport again is is very much takes pride in uh, in the fact that they've got uh, a, a ton of pass through storage. Uh, on their campers. I think that's the biggest opening in the industry. Yeah, absolutely. It is, Larry. And just moving around the front, uh, again on this unit, uh, some nice options. You do have the electric jack with the, uh, with the light, LED light, and two 20 pound uh, propane tanks. Uh, 20 pound, just to make it a little bit easier, trade them in somewhere, fill them up somewhere. There's a lot of places that take trade-ins um, rather than toting the big the big ones around. Makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, a lot of the uh, smaller trailers today have gone from the 30s down to the 20s just for ease of people, you know, trying to get them filled, you know, rather than lugging around a big 30 pound tank. Lots of places don't want to deal with those, so. Absolutely, yeah. I noticed so, this has the uh, solar prep on it too. Yeah, you bet, Larry. So uh, most of the passports that we're getting now um, do have that, that uh, Quick Connect. Uh, that's so you can uh, you can go out, get yourself a a uh, portable panel. Absolutely, get a panel for yourself. Plug it in, and that's going to keep your battery charged, keep your lights on, etc. If you do want to do some boondocking. Yeah, that's excellent. And another nice feature to keep people camping longer. 
Absolutely. So I think that's what pretty much all we've got for the outside of this unit. Let's uh, let's go inside. Absolutely. All right. Well, here we are inside the uh, little Passport 240BH, and I see it's full of features, lots of uh, uh, creature comforts. Brad, why don't you describe some of them? Absolutely, Larry. We can start with the fridge. Uh, this fridge is a, a 110 and propane uh, fridge, uh, two-way fridge, uh, six cubic feet, uh, crispers on the bottom there, some some great room, some good size for for lots of uh, lots of groceries. And again, a large uh, a large freezer as well. Great handles too. I, yeah, I love how these how these handles operate. Some of them are a little bit uh, tough to get your hands in, but these these are nice. That's a obviously a change from from Dometic. Yeah, you bet. Just backing up here a little bit back into the kitchen, uh, you'll notice the uh, the uh, the countertop is that seamless countertop. We don't have that seamed edge around uh, the outside. A T molding uh, it always shrinks. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, great stainless steel uh, undermount sink. Uh, very nice, large size. Uh, you know, with your with your uh, residential style pullout faucets as well. Yeah, it's very nice. Getting into the cabinetry a little bit. Uh, you know, glued and uh, screwed pocket. Uh, pre-drilled. Pre-drilled, absolutely. Um, no staples. No staples. Very, very well put together. Uh, it's going to last you a long time. You know, you're making a big investment. We want this to last you a long time. So Keystone makes it, uh, makes it that way so that you can enjoy your rig for years to come. Glass top for the stove. Glass top for the stoves. Doubles as the backsplash as well. I like the lights. Lights are, are really nice. They actually double as a, you know, not only they look good, but they, they work really well in the nighttime. Uh, you know, when you're, you want a nightlight, maybe, you know, they leave something on for the kids. Uh, works great for a nightlight as well. Yeah, that's a nice setup. Uh, this unit does have some some good storage like we showed you earlier with the, f the cabinet. We do have some drawers down here in the bottom as well as a very, very large cupboard um, on the, underneath the sink as well. I see there's doors below the uh, dinette as well. That's correct. Storage. Yep, you bet, Larry. So we do have some great storage there as well. And the accent lighting underneath the dinette is actually quite cool. <laughs> yeah, they've done very, very well with that. Of course, that dinette does, the table does go down to make into a, a bed as well. Yeah. You do have some some extra sleeping arrangements there. That'd be a decent sized bed for uh, at least one adult. Certainly a uh, couple of kids. A couple of kids, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Nice fabric on the, on the dinette cushions as well. So just to, you know, some great campsite windows, which uh, when Adam is filming right now, it looked fantastic. You know, you get out, uh, sometimes you don't have those large windows. Plus you got some great cross, you know, you get the cross breeze as well on your on your uh, slide windows. Oh, all three open. Absolutely. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, excellent. Um, some great storage here, as far as the pantry is concerned. Um, and all those uh, shelves are removable if you did want to make that into a wardrobe, if you did need to. Um, oh yeah, it's got the bar at the top. You can close if you want. You bet. Not dual function. Why don't we take a look at the bathroom? So typically with most uh, bunk style campers, you do get a, a, a tub and, and that is the same for this unit. You know, you've got little kids, you want to get them in the tub, you want to get them clean. You do have the stand-up shower as well, and it's a lar it's a nice large size. And a very nice uh, tub surround as well. Uh, you know, some of our competitors would have just simply wall panel, and uh, that wall panel gets wet and is not waterproof. Uh, this has a full tub surround, which is very nice. You bet. And again, a good size bathroom. Um, it does have... Uh, does have some some good size to it and then just uh, as Adam's gonna pull that door open there and show you the medicine cabinets so there's a little bit more storage there and then again some um, under the sink as well and I can get that for him while he gets in here 
We do have some good storage down there. Trying to make use of every available inch. You bet. Because you can't have too much storage. Well, we'll let Adam get out of the bathroom there. We'll take a look at these bunks. Take a quick shot of the bunks here. Again, uh, like we showed you when we were videoing on the outside, this bunk does lift up and it does latch. And that gives you a cavernous storage area for yeah. bicycles. Huge. You know, you want to throw a kayak in there, it'll fit. I noticed too, there's a light on each bunk. So, you know, they're both very well lit. Very plush mattresses as well. Yeah. Blinds to... Also window on each bunk. Window in each bunk. Good ventilation. Good ventilation. They do, uh, they do open for sure. And I believe, uh, yeah, on this side as well, you have one 10 volt and USB plugs. Um, because everybody's got a cell phone and needs to charge it. I just move to the, we can move to the front of the unit now where the, uh, where the bedroom is. Should also mention the built-in TV, built-in stereo. That's Bluetooth, I believe, isn't it, Brad? Absolutely, yeah. You can connect that Bluetooth. You can sit outside, turn your outdoor speakers on, and sit around the campfire and just uh, listen to your tunes and enjoy the evening. Yeah, excellent. Again, some great storage up here up front as well. Um, and then I think that one of the things that we didn't show for storage is just that one there at the back, Larry, oh, beside yeah. you on the back side of the sink. Again, a couple of shelves in there. Great size. You bet. Uh, queen size bed. Um, you do have on both sides of the bed, you do have USB and uh, 110 volt. Uh, you know, in case you do have a sleeper that uh, maybe needs a sleep apnea machine, they need to be plugged in. There's lots of room in this area to, to park, park that. Um, wardrobe, again, some good storage here. Great storage up above. And then you also do have storage underneath the bed as well. Shocks, and support shocks, shocks support well. shocks as well. You don't have to hold it open. You can just uh, lift it up and it'll stay open by itself. And then again, you do have two couple of larger windows, uh, windows up front here for, you know, if you do want to, don't want to have the air conditioning on, you don't want to have some, want to have some good cross ventilation. You can flip those windows open in the master bedroom, and uh, yeah, get some so nice fresh air. All the windows in here open, which is which is excellent because lots of uh, competitive brands don't. Absolutely. And yeah. ventilation can mean everything. I mean, if it's all about comfort. You bet. Well, I think we've covered this one pretty well. Absolutely. Anything, anything else we've you want to add? Well. You know, other than, uh, you know, the warranty, and I'm sure we've talked about that in a few of our videos as well. We, may, you know, we've got the best in the, in the industry as far as Keystone is concerned. So, yeah. Well, for those of you that have been tuning in, uh, obviously you may have some questions and we'd love to answer those questions for you. It may be something about warranty. It may be something about some of the specific features or options that are, that are on this trailer. Please call us at 306-525-5666. Uh, We've got people that are standing by and willing to take the time to answer whatever questions you have. Also, if you feel this unit is the one for you, right now we have our virtual sale pricing on and uh, we'll lock that in for you. We'll take a deposit over the phone and you can take advantage of the pricing that's that's on right now. Being this is a 20, this is one of the few that we have that, that are one ofs and when it's gone, it's gone. So by all means, if this is for you, call us and we'll We'll help you buy it. Thanks very much for tuning in and we'll be back. Thanks everyone.
to Village RV's virtual sale, day two, where we feature, where we will be featuring this week, all of our bunk models. My name is Adam Pahulko, sales manager here at Village RV, and I've got Jacques Landry with me. He's going to show us all the amazing features and options on this 2021 Hideout 318BR. This features the bunkhouse in the back, perfect for a family of up to 10 or 12 people if needed. Uh, Jacques, why don't you take us around the side here and show us uh, some of the outside features of this trailer. Sure, sounds good. Along with uh, being standard with the electric front tongue jack, this unit also comes standard with the electric stabilizer jacks. It's just a matter of pushing a button and down the stabilizer jacks go and gets rid of a lot of the movement inside the trailer. No more getting down on your hands and knees and cranking them no, down anymore? No, no more of that. Just put some blocks down and away you go. Push a button. Push a button. I just love it. Matter, just right here. Just hit the button. Done. Awesome. I yes. love it. Then uh, they're also uh, standard with the hideout as well, is that they're doing the side turn camera and uh, backup camera pre-wire. So if you uh, do have some issues with your backing up, uh, you can basically just get the Bluetooth uh, camera system that's all pre-wired for it, you're all set to go. So when you're driving down the road, you can hit your signal, it's gonna sh shine down the side of your camper. It'll show left everything and right. down, left and right awesome. side, put on your left side signal, on comes the left. Perfect. Both back That's a forth. really nice feature. Let's and keep moving down the side here. So with this unit here, it also comes with a solid step from Lippert. Basically, you'll notice that there's a large top step. So when you're coming out, you're not going to worry about the kids or yourself slipping and falling out of the trailer. Steps are very, very solid. And there is an adjustment on the step itself. So if the ground is out of level, it's just a matter of pulling the pin, adjust the height of your steps. There. Perfect. It looks like that'd be nice and easy for pets to get in inside. Like maybe maybe you're like me, you like to bring your dog camping with you, he's part of the family, they can at least get in and out nice and smooth. Speaking about bringing your dog with you, this is a built-in bottle cap opener plus a leash holder Look. built right onto the unit that hooks onto your nice. leash. Really nice and simple. That's great. On, uh, just uh, beside the door here as well, you're going to see a DSI water heater, so it's just a matter of flipping a switch to light your water heater, water tank fill, conveniently, coated, con conveniently located right beside as well, and it is pre-wired with a TV hookup on the outside with a coax and the 110 volt outlet as well. So this is an output, you could have a TV underneath your awning, plug in right here, uh, watch the rider game underneath your awning. Oh yeah. It starts raining, you're fine. Yeah. Awesome. No problem there. I see there's some well. speakers up there. I'm assuming those are probably uh, uh, Bluetooth speakers. Can you hook up Bluetooth to those? Yes, these are actually a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, you can set the speakers to just play outside or inside and out. It depends on how you like it. Perfect. And also it has nice LED lights. That yep. gives you a nice glow outside, nothing bright, doesn't attract the bugs. Awesome, and that awning, Jock, is huge. Oh, like yeah. that covers your whole campsite. Yes, yeah, it covers both of the doors. Um, works really nice. Perfect. And You'll notice this one also has a bathroom door accessible to the outside, especially if you have kids or um, company sitting at the fire at night. Uh, instead of going through the whole trailer, so it makes it nice where they can just go in and out right from that door there. I really like that. Then you're not in and out of the camper. You're not traipsing mud and dirt through the camper. Yes. Uh, just that much easier. And I see this this model with the bunkhouse. Uh, it actually has the amazing uh, outside kitchen with the big fridge, the sink, and everything. Tell me a little more about that. Oh, it makes it so nice. Uh, you can have your coffee maker set up outside. You do all your cooking outside. Lots of storage for cups, paper plates, spices, tin foil, everything. Perfect. Gives you lots of room. And with an outside sink as well. Uh, this sink here it's actually drains into the septic tank. You don't have to dump it out. Um, with some traders you have to just, they're a dump sink. The, and uh, also gives you a nice size fridge. Uh, see we've got some storage here. We could do our buns, we could do any outdoor stuff, chips, snacks. We could keep that all on the outside. Oh yeah, you'll have more of your stuff in outside here than you will in on the inside. Perfect. I like that you can have that. I mean, typically people that are going to be buying this coach are going to be large families. You've got the big fridge inside, you've got another fridge outside, we've got ample storage space to keep all our food and beverages cold. Now Jacques, if I wanted to bring along maybe a little RV barbecue that I have, 
Um, where would is there anywhere that I could hook that up on this outside kitchen so yep. that I can still use that while I'm camping? Yeah, actually, right here so you'll notice this little yellow tab hanging down. There's a gas line that is with quick connect right there. Perfect. And you can either use that or the or stove. your stove top. Yep. Awesome. That is great. And you, yeah, and you'll see at the back you've got the stable electric stabilizer. Again, yeah, we got our right switches there. right on the outside, easy access. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, Jock? I think I've seen enough on the outside. Uh, why don't we go inside and you show me all the stuff in there? Sounds good. All right, well, we're now inside the beautiful 2021 Keystone Hideout 318 uh, bunkhouse model. And again, I've got Jacques with me. And uh, Jacques going to go through a few things with us on the Keystone exclusives, as well as all the amazing features that this trailer uh, has to offer. So Jacques, first thing I notice here, right at the bottom of the kitchen, it has caught my eye. I see this, this black box that says road vac on it. Is that a vacuum? Yeah, actually this unit comes equipped with uh, standard, equipped with a central vacuum. Uh, it has the wands, the hose, everything, all all built in. So you're telling me that I plug into there and I can vacuum my entire camper from front to back, just like I do at home. Oh yeah, and you'll find oh, it be as wow. much suction as your vacuum at home. Awesome, and it's just a little self-contained unit, so I just yep. pull out a bag. Or? Yep. Bag is built right in. Just open the front door, and you can change your bags very easily from the inside here. Awesome, and I see we've got the rest of our kitchen area. We got plenty of storage. Now I see a really big fridge. Tell me some more about that fridge. So uh, one of the new fridges that they came out with this year here is uh, this fridge here is actually a 10 cubic foot fridge, the same dimensions on the height and width as a, uh, your 110 propane RV fridge, an eight cubic foot, but this is actually 10 cubic feet because it doesn't have the cooling unit in the back. This is just basically the same style of a uh, compressor style fridge just like you would have at home. That's huge. Oh yeah, it gives lots of room. You'll also notice that it drops down almost two, three inches here that you can add a few more steaks or a few more popsicles in there. Awesome. Well, and, and just judging by the multiple sleeping areas in this coach, especially having the bunk room, I mean, the the families that are going to be getting into a camper like this are going to be bringing a lot of lo are going to be bringing along a lot of stuff. So we definitely want to have a bigger fridge if we can. Well, especially if you have a few kids in here, you know what it is it sleep six in the back bedroom. So you definitely need a big fridge, and it also helps having the outside fridge, you know, because you got to have the, lots of the milk and uh, yep. ice cream for all the kids. Absolutely. So now we're just making our way back into the bunkhouse, and again, this is a separate bunkhouse. It has a slide, so it is a separate area. I see we've got a hard door to actually separate the uh, the the rest of the guests from the the main guests mm -hmm. i see that there's one two three four five beds back here um, why don't you tell me a little more about this uh, about the sleeping arrangements and, and um, options that are in here well so the bottom bunk here first on the slide that one there um, you can fold out uh, take the cushions off at the back here okay and uh, basically you can pop off a cushion you can both cushions you can have somebody laying this way or you can actually fold it out and have almost this is bigger than a queen size. Oh, bed. that's great. And uh, if you have a few more kids, especially uh, if you want to have them separated, you could put one cushion laying out this way, one in the middle of the floor here as well. When I see that all faces, this is, I'm assuming, where your TV would go. Yes, TV would be all there. So the kids could have a movie night, it's rain and it's cold. Yeah. Parents can stick the kids or the, the extra uh, guests back here. Yeah. They've got their own area. They can keep all their own stuff back here and they can sit back, watch TV. I love it. Oh, yes. And the, the overhead bunk on the camp kitchen side here, it gives you the wider overhead bunk. Uh, you have tons of storage even underneath the bed at the back and uh, lots of clothes closet space in here as well. You've got hanging closets, you've got a place for shoes and sandals toys in the back storage bin underneath that back bed or if, if uh, with a lot of younger families they want to have a playpen inside the trailer there's actually room in here that you could set up a playpen in here so you're telling me that there's storage under this bed yeah there's a little pull strap on the side there adam just lift it up it's on shock system so you can put your toys in there wow that is awesome i really I, I love that you can just have a, everything in one area. 
so that it's not all scattered throughout the main living area and they can keep everything in there. It gives you lots of room. That's awesome. Yeah. A lot of times the kids want to bring their friends or if you've got the, your cousins, you want to bring them along. You have lots of room to put them inside that room so it's nice and quiet for the parents. And then there's still lots of room in here for other adults to sleep in here if you do have. It seems like this slide out is, is very tall compared to some. Am, is that right? Yeah, the one thing you will notice in the hideouts, they're 81 inch interior height. So oh, wow. for the, not that it's affecting me, but for the tall guys, it gives you lots of room. Also the slide boxes, six foot tall. It's nice with, with the tall guys, when they're sitting down, they stand up. They're not going to hit their head on the roof of the slide. Okay, and that couch is a jackknife sofa. It's a jackknife sofa. So that will fold sofa. out to a bed. Correct. Okay, and, and, and then the the booth, that's a, what they call a, a booth dinette, right? Correct, and that will fold down and make into a bed as well. Okay, is there storage under each side? Yes, there's storage underneath. It's just a matter of removing the okay. cushions and then just storage just underneath lift that up. here. Awesome. That's all you have to do. You'll also notice with the black shades on here, if you like to sleep in in the morning, they're all blackout shades in the trailer. It's a matter of pulling them up. You've got full sliding window. Um, you can also use this as an emergency escape window. Oh, I like that those open. That you can probably let in a ton of fresh air at night. That's oh, awesome. It is. Nice yeah. big windows too. Let into all that natural light. Doesn't feel so uh, dark and dingy maybe on one of those cloudier days. Mm -hmm. I love the black shades. I am asleep. I love to sleep in. I mean, we're camping. We're on holidays. I hope everybody's sleeping in. We can do that with the blackout shades. Jacques, is this a fireplace in a camper? That is a fireplace. Yes, yeah, 5,000 watt BTU uh, yeah, yeah, fireplace is nice thing with that. If it's a little bit cool at night, basically instead of turning on your furnace, it's just a matter of flip the switch. It's a heat, it removes a lot of the humidity out of the air makes it really nice nice app i really well jock i really like the heat that's coming off that fireplace i can see uh, myself getting a lot of use of that maybe you're doing some early or late season camping um, as i make my way this way into the front of the camper i couldn't help but notice this very modern um, accent wall and i see this is obviously the place where a tv can be mounted um, but yeah like the coach itself um, everything inside Finished off very well, very modern, um, not so dark like they used to be back in the day. Yeah, they've went and they've changed, added a lot of nice, w w brighter wall paneling, um, the barn style woodwork on the front here, just the accents. It's just very nice look to the trailer. So I feel like over I feel like I'm at home, but I brought in my camper with me now. Oh so yes, yeah. I, let's walk up into the bedroom here, into the main uh, living area or the main sleeping area, I should say. I uh, see we've got wardrobes on each side. I assume that's where we hang our clothes. Yes, you get gives uh, lots of closet storage space, a shelf over top, storage underneath a bed as well. And you'll notice that it has pocket doors. So it gives you the privacy for mom and dad. And off to the right hand side here at the front, you'll notice that uh, there's a laundry chute there. So oh, yeah. basically you just put a linen, uh, little laundry basket inside the storage compartment and just drop the clothes that in there. That is handy. And I see we've got plug-ins on each side yes. uh, of the bed so that we can plug in a cell phone, anything like that. We can charge an iPad while we're at night. We've got a nice little um, place to set that. Yes. We've got windows. Lots of LED lighting, nice bright lighting yep. again. Absolutely. I like that there's windows in here. We can open these up and get a cross draft through here at night. I'm not a huge fan of AC myself, so I can see that that being great. Uh, I see that we do have some TV hookups in here as well. Mm -hmm. So we could run a TV, lay in bed and watch TV on maybe yeah. one of those rainy days. That's a great feature to have. Well, yeah. you know what, Jock? Um, I like what I see. This is a great floor plan. I see why it's so popular. I mean, it has absolutely everything you would need uh, for, for a larger family and then some. And again, this is a travel trailer. This is a 2021 hideout 318 bunkhouse model. Uh, this is part of our virtual sale. So uh, if, you're, if you feel this is the model for you or if you have any questions about this particular model itself, uh, give us a call. Uh, text us. We'd be happy to answer those questions. We'd be happy to set up an appointment uh, to get you down here to maybe have another look. Um, or if you want to place a deposit on it, text or call as well. And uh, we'll see you next time on when we get into the next trailer actually.
campers, welcome back to our parts showcase. I'm once again joined by my parts expert, uh, Morgan Schaefer. Uh, Morgan, we have a power tongue jack in front of us here now. Uh, what can you tell me about this guy here? Well, Reese, this is a fantastic upgrade if you have a manual tongue jack on your trailer right now. If you've ever experienced that before, it's very tiresome trying to crank your trailer up and down over and over again versus just pushing a button on the tongue jack right here. It's a very easy installation. Basically, you just need a jack stand to go right underneath and there's three bolts to take it on and off and one wire that goes to the battery. It's, but like I said, it's life changing. It's just much nicer to hit a button than using the crank to lift your trailer up and so down. So you're saying the installation's easy for guys that are not uh, like myself capable of doing and any <laughs> handyman things? <laughs> myself too, yeah. I've, I've changed them out myself and I always say if I can change it out, anybody can change it out. I'm not technically savvy at all. That's definitely a line I use lots too. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> what do you usually sell these guys for? Uh, the regular price, two seventy nine. dollars And uh, what do you got on sale for? One eighty nine. dollars Perfect. Well, yeah. thank you again, Morgan. Yeah. Thank you. Well, welcome back. We're here on day two of Village RV virtual sale. Today is bunk model day and we are standing in front of a hideout, Keystone hideout 29 DFS. This unit is quite unique in a lot of ways and uh, Brad's gonna get into that uh, right away. First thing I wanna point out is this has two entrances. I'm standing here beside the master bedroom entrance slash exit, which I think is a great idea because, you know, if you've got kids sleeping in the back, and say the parents want to get up and maybe have a early coffee outside, they can come out through their own entrance and exit and not disturb anybody else sleeping in the back. I think that's, that's a great idea. Brad, what else do we have on the side of the trailer here that you can talk about that uh, is maybe unique? Absolutely, thanks Larry. First off, uh, yeah, 29 DFS does, uh, it is coming in at uh, just under 34 feet long and it's gonna be just a tick under about uh, 7,400 pounds. So just to give you an idea, you know, you're gonna need a fairly heavy half ton to, to tow this, because uh, there is a bit of weight and a bit of length in, mm -hmm. in order to, to move this this little guy around. Um, first thing I want to point out is the fireplace. Uh, 5100 BTU outdoor fireplace. This does throw heat so if you do you know find yourself in a situation where there's fire bands on. It happens in Saskatchewan all the time. We have you know some dry spells, fire bands go on, you can't have them. Um, have outdoor fires, this is a perfect thing. You put your awning out, turn on your outdoor speakers, turn on your outdoor fireplace, you're still throwing some heat, you've got some nice ambiance, you can still have a fire, yeah. technically, yeah. without having a fire. Next best so, thing, I guess. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Excellent, I see there's also an outside kitchen. Absolutely, outside kitchen on this one, a little bit smaller than, than the, the big full size ones, but it does get you by, it does have a fairly good size fridge. You know, you wanna stock that with uh, Cans, refreshments. refreshments, stuff for the kids, whatever. You're not having to go in and out of the camper to your fridge to get those refreshments. The other thing is, is it does have the pull-out burner. Yeah, nice little stove top for outside. Absolutely, you wanted to cook eggs, fish, something that might smell the trailer up a little bit. You don't want those smells inside the camper. Certainly a nice thing to do on your outdoor kitchen. Yeah, a little bit of outside storage as well. You bet, uh, you know, almost a, a little pantry, if you will, and uh, and it can be all closed up. You were mentioning about sitting underneath the awning and having your speakers going and, you know, with the fireplace. I see there's also a LED light bar in, in the awning, which is nice as well. Absolutely, a really nice thing to have in, in, in the summer months. You know, again, you're out in, in at night, it, it, it just throws enough light where you can see getting around, see without tripping over anything, mm -hmm. but it's not overpowering. 
Yeah. Um, so it just gives, uh, throws a real nice ambiance uh, to your campsite. Now, one thing I see you're standing beside, which is not very common today, is a rear ladder. Absolutely. Uh, and why a rear ladder? I mean, at the end of the day, the biggest thing is with these campers and any camper, I don't care what brand, what make, is maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, you want to be doing roof maintenance periodically. You want a great, you know, want an easy way to get up there. It's nice to have a ladder. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a full walkable roof. So to make that maintenance a little bit easier, uh, a little bit easier to get to, um, they've installed a ladder on this unit. Well, one thing as well that's, I think an additional, an additional benefit is, you know, this is a bunk bed model. So you're gonna have kids, you know, playing or playing around the outside of the trailer with you. They throw a Frisbee or something on top of the roof. Unless you carry a ladder with you, an extension ladder, how are you gonna get up there to get it off? Absolutely. You no, know, this yeah. is a, a real nice feature for a bunk bed trailer. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, and just a couple more things around back here. We do have the outdoor shower. Again, great for kids. It is a bunk model, like you said, Larry. Kids are out, find a mud puddle, running through it. You know, kids will be kids. Mm -hmm. Great place to wash them off before we get them in the camper and dragging mud through the, through, through the campsite. And then this is basically our water heater here. And this is a uh, 12 volt pardon me, a uh, uh, 110 and uh, propane unit. Uh, spare tire, and yeah, uh, it is wired for a backup camera, and it is wired for signal light camera as well. Oh, the side turns, the side. excellent, Absolutely. excellent. So this unit, uh, you know, being as, as long as it is, there's an optional kit you can buy that is a Bluetooth camera, it's already wired 12 volt for the backup camera. We can have that installed. You put your Bluetooth camera on your dash, makes that backing up into a campsite a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's great. Why don't we uh, step inside? Sounds good, Larry. Well, here we are inside the Hideout uh, 29 DFS uh, floor plan. And I, I can see it's very homey, very, very functional, great for a family. Uh, Brad, what are some of the key things that make this uh, attractive to, to families? Well, I mean, you're absolutely right, Larry. I mean, you're looking at, you know, 34 feet uh, long uh, tip to tip on this. That gives you a huge amount of room inside. And then with the super slide, uh, that just gives you even more living area, really, in the place that you need it. You've got some inclement weather. You need to be inside. You want to be able to watch some TV, you know, that type of thing. Um, again, if, it's, if the weather's bad, you're you're going to go where it's not. Yeah, you got to so, have some place to go. Absolutely. So that's uh, that's one of the key features that we love about this floor plan. It just gives you so much room. Um, Lots of counter the, space. Absolutely, counter space. Uh, okay. We do have that uh, molded, not molded edge, but uh, that that complete uh, one piece one piece countertop, undermount stainless steel sink. Obviously, we have our residential style pull out. Accent lighting too. I just noticed that. Yeah. There's some uh, yeah. accent lighting underneath the countertop, which is nice. Pull out faucet. Some great storage underneath. Yeah, huge the sink. Huge storage underneath the sink. Um, Cupboards up above. Totally. And again, as uh, we've mentioned before, uh, typical Keystone construction. The cupboard doors are all, all the cupboards themselves are all pre drilled and screwed, of course. So, That's good stable right. foundation. Yeah. Lighted cupboards inside. And again, some great storage in the immediate kitchen area, all lighted. Microwave, three burner stove with the oven. Night life, night light on the uh, dials. Uh, very nice backsplash. And then the, the lid doubles as the backsplash. The backsplash as yeah. well. That's a good idea. Nice little residential looking oven. Yep. Uh, I guess that's 12 volt fridge. 12 volt fridge, absolutely, Larry. Again, we're getting into the the age of solar. Um, we've got a 10 cubic foot fridge now, basically in the space of what used to be an eight cubic fridge. Um, just because of the way the fridge is now designed. Um, this is an act actual compressor style fridge. So you're not giving up um, space for the cooling unit at the exactly. back, so it can be that much deeper. Exactly. Excellent. And they work great. They uh, they get real cold and they stay real cold. Well, I'm looking at this as a pretty big trailer and there's some storage there. I, 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 maybe is it a little lacking on storage or am I missing something? A great question. And you know, that's the, that's the great thing about this floor plan. And, and I've had some customers in this particular unit a few times and they said, hey, yeah, it's great, but you know, great storage right now, but just doesn't seem to cut it for us. 
that's when I give them this. Uh -huh. Huge hidden pantry. Fantastic place to store behind the TV. Very easy to pull out. Uh, and you've got a ton of room back there for whatever you want. Yeah, that's excellent. You know, uh, Brad, it was features like this and the outside fireplace that made this the uh, last year's uh, winner of, of the uh, uh, best at show at the RV sale. Mm -hmm. And um, I can see why. I mean, and it's proven be, to be very popular since then. It's uh, a very good seller for Keystone. And it's things like that to, uh, that that make families want to gravitate to it. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you know, you've got your you've got your fireplace inside and outside, right? So the inside one, same as the outside. This is fantastic on those days that it's just a little bit cool in the morning, or just maybe a little bit at night. It's just getting a little bit cool as you're, t you know, getting to go to go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, turn that on for you know for a little while, get the chill off uh, without starting your furnace. And, and burning using propane. propane. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you is you see these uh, actually quite nice sofas in a lot of these units. Yeah. And some are beds, some are not. Yes. I presume this is a bed, right? Absolutely. This is a trifold sofa. Um, this comes in most of the units that Keystone supplies to us nowadays. And it is absolutely the most simple thing to set up. Gone are the days of the air beds. Gone are the days of the fold out sofa with the bar in the back and you couldn't sleep on it because mm -hmm. the bar was sticking in the back all night. And this thing literally takes seconds to set up. It's just a matter of pulling the cushions off. Lifting the bottom out. Folding that down. You can take the cushions throw them under here or if the cushions are there that makes for great storage for something else yeah bedding etc mm -hmm. and then fold this down there's Excellent. your instant sleeper yeah that's Twin great size sleeper that is quick it's got some pretty dense foam to sleep on as it's, well it's actually believe it or not comfortable again and i know that sounds like a, a really weird thing to say but uh you know the the air beds they weren't comfortable so yeah well it's a that's a something that obviously had to change and thank goodness keystone did it yeah all right well moving to the back you bet we have uh wardrobe here with some with some shelves some um, great storage there yeah, a little bet. bit of clothing storage for the kids, maybe for some of the some of the kids' uh, books, toys, games, pantry whatever. Pantry storage again, if you need. Or pantry storage. You bet. Uh, it's multi-purpose, which is nice. Over here, we have the uh, double over double bunk set up. And again, with storage underneath, Larry. So, you know, if we're not lacking on storage. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much the whole bed. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's so. huge. Nice, plush, thick mattresses. Privacy curtain. Privacy curtain, excellent. Yeah. So getting into the bathroom, as with most of our floor plans in the bunk styles, we do have a tub, which again with kids is definitely something you're gonna wanna have. A good size bathroom. We do have some good storage in the uh, cabinet under the sink and Jock will show that to you on the, oh, he's running our video today. Pretty much all the elements you'd want to have in a bunk bed trailer. Um, you know, I think it hits on all the high points of uh, things that families are going to consider important. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you want something that's going to get you out there and you, you, you want it to be comfortable. Right. And, and this will do that in spades. Get you out there and keep you out there for as long as you want to be. Absolutely. And again, forced air furnace, uh, forced air air conditioning. Again, cold out, hot out, the middle of summer, snap on that air conditioning, the whole camper cools down. Place to hide out if you're not, if you're not into the, uh, the real hot sun tanning type weather and the real hot weather. Uh, I should also mention, Larry, that this unit and, and all of our hideout units do come with a central vac. Uh, central vac, including hoses and uh, floor uh, detachments. Detachments, uh, exactly. Right on. Um, it is a uh, 
it is a great add. Uh, just, you know, again, you've got kids traipsing through here, and if mm -hmm. they're dragging in, you know, some sand or dirt or whatever, uh, makes for easy cleanup. And if things are easy to do, you're going to have more fun getting out there doing things. You know, Brad, a uh, central vacuum system in a travel trailer is very unique. Uh, that's something you see in fifth wheels typically and motorhomes. Very, very rare on a travel trailer. So it's, it's, uh, I think again that says a lot about Keystone that they would incorporate something yeah. like that, a feature that important in a, in a travel trailer when no one else is doing it. Absolutely and one of the other things not only that is it's certainly those higher price point units as well. Yes absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well why don't we finish off in the master bedroom here and uh, take a quick look. You betcha. I'll step out of the way. Yeah, so no surprises here. I mean, it, you know, you do have a nice uh, sliding door for privacy. You do have some great storage up here for wardrobes on both sides of the bed. Um, this bed is nice and high, as you can see. So, you know, uh, you're not having to climb out of bed. You can basically just kind of roll out of bed. Uh, Larry is showing us the uh, opening to the uh, laundry chute. Laundry chute. Um, which is something that a lot of people maybe don't think of. You know, if you're gone for a couple weeks at a time, what do you do with your laundry? So it's now got to be stored somewhere within in the camper. Now you can put your laundry basket in the cubby at the front of the camper, drop the laundry into the basket from inside the master bedroom. It's out of the way. Yeah, that's a great idea. Fantastic we idea. We do have uh, a very there, right? nice uh, storage area back here. Uh, just around the corner. Um, Tough very, angle very to see, but uh, this floor is to ceiling cupboard. Yeah, corner cabinet, which actually would hold a lot of stuff some clothing, um, knickknacks, whatever. Shoes. Again, you know, taking advantage of every available space that they can to give people opportunities to store. And of course, you do have storage underneath the bed huge. and that's huge. cavernous that's cavernous, huge. cavernous under under bed storage we do have the uh the cutting board uh, sink cover as well in there and there's your tools for your uh, central vac excellent yeah well, um, well let's just step back into the main area sounds good um i think really that is uh you know other than a couple other small little storage areas here we've got one under the under the uh, bench seat for the uh, dinette and then of course that table does fold down for extra sleeping area as well and that would make it to a huge bed that's got to be close to a queen size bed yeah yeah a um, couple more things i can you know uh blackout shades blackout shades um and then on the on the dinette huge huge windows yeah uh for great views and they all open Over, correct they, they the the uh the the end ones do not but this will give you i mean this whole slider comes right back on so that sides. whole half of the on both sides okay. so that whole half of the window is plus over here it does as well so correct. you will get some good cross cross ventilation. cross ventilation excellent excellent so that's about all i've got for you larry well thanks brad appreciate you that bet. and uh thank you for viewing our uh, showing of the uh, keystone hideout 29 DFS. If you think this is the model for you, we've got people standing by that will take a deposit over the phone from you at 306-525-5666. Or if you just have more questions on some of the things you saw in the video that we didn't uh, describe or touch on in detail, by all means give us a call and we'd be happy to help you with that. Again, thanks for tuning in and we'll be back. Thanks everyone. Welcome back campers to our parts showcase. I'm once again joined by uh, my parts expert, Morgan Schaefer. Morgan, you have a some type of cover there. Uh, what does that do? Uh, can you tell me more about it? Yeah, so this guy here is the entrance door window cover. Uh, if you've ever camped inside your unit and it's 6 a.m. in the morning and you have someone sleeping on the couch and they're up at 6 in the morning rummaging in their trailer, most likely it's because they've been woken by the sun through the engine store window. You have all the, sh wind the, all the blinds down and everything like that, but it's so bright in the morning that you want to cover it up. So this is awesome. It's a universal fit. Most entrance doors have this. I would say about 90-95% have this one on it. And it just goes on with some stick-on application pieces and it's easy to remove after that as well. 
Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and what do you usually sell this for? These are $19.95. What do you have it on sale for? $12.95. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, no problem. Welcome back to day two of the Village RV virtual sale. I'm Larry Ortman and I'm here with Reese Gelowitz. We're standing in front of a 2021 Bullet 287 QBS. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to uh, confirm with you again that we are uh, following code protocols here at Village RV. We're in our indoor showroom and we, we're hoping that you will come down to visit us uh, this weekend. And we want you to feel safe. We'll be wearing masks, of course, although we are now while we're filming. Uh, but we will be uh, during the sale and of course maintain distances so we want you to feel safe. Now, Brees, getting into this bullet. I know for 2021, Bullet's made some changes and some of them pretty significant. Do you want to go over what those changes are? Absolutely, Larry, I'd love to. So, for 2021, uh, Bullet is not only brightening up their interior, but I'll show you their exterior as well. So, a beautiful uh, LED light out to up top here. I mean, that's gonna be very bright at night. You're not gonna have people running into the hitch, uh, you know, safety for your children, that sort of thing. And the big thing about Bullet, uh, I would say in the ultralight field is value for your money. So this is a midline product, but you're still getting a front cap like a high-end uh, trailer. You're still getting an electric tongue jack like a high-end trailer, and you're getting electric stabilizers like a high-end trailer. Now, where Bullet puts it over the top, is around the corner here with the new uh, docking station. So again, value for your money, you're finding a lot of this in fifth wheels. Uh, and now you're getting it in a travel trailer. So like a fifth wheel, you have this all put away. Uh, no one's messing around with your waterworks system. And uh, starting out your summer and ending in the fall is a breeze too for winterizing and summerizing. As, as you can see here, the winterized valves, the water heater bypass, everything's all in one station. Uh, your outside shower and your battery disconnect. So uh, everything in one convenient location uh, and it's easy to get to. I see your satellite uh, line is in there as well. So I presume you can just run everything up through the bottom? Yeah, that's again new for 2021 as well. Actually, they have a satellite prep right at the top there. So you could put your receiver mounted at the top now and uh, you'll have your line go straight through there. Excellent. Yeah, yeah that's helpful. Uh, and then again, value for your money. Some guys just give you the, the uh, normal water hose, mm -hmm. uh, outside shower. These guys, you know what? kids are get a little dirty or you have your toys with you your bikes and that you get a little pressure knobs i know it's not a big thing but once you see the overall value of this whole product you'll see that the little things really start adding up and you still get hot and cold water outside as well so i mean you can use it as an outside shower yeah it's surprising to me that some guys are just going to hot uh, cold water now on the outside showers yeah that's just i mean with kids you you, you have to have both that's all there's to it i know my little daughter doesn't like the cold washcloth to the face <laughs> it always has to be warm so no kidding <laughs> next you'll see too you know, what do people put in their pass-through storage, Larry? Blankets. Coolers. Coolers. Barbecues. Barbecues, chairs. Have you ever noticed on b back in the day how small the, the openings are? Mm. This is one of the biggest in the industry now. And again, you're not going to bump somebody's head or break a clip because it's a magnet. Yep. Another little thing, but it's going to start adding up. 
So as you can see here, huge pass-through storage, golf clubs, mats, uh, blankets, whatever you want in there. And it's easy to get to in and out. You're not trying to crank it or turn it on an angle to, and uh, get on, it out there. On the far side of the trailer, we'd even see a bigger opening because of course this uh, docking station is cutting into it a little bit, but the, the opening on the far side is massive, absolutely yeah, massive. Absolutely. So uh, let's go around on the side here, Larry, and I'll show you a couple more things. All right, let's do that. Okay, so here we are on the campground side, the door side, and you know, Reese, you were talking about value for the money. I know that Cougar introduced the off-the-grid program uh, with that package last year. And I understand now it's available with Bullet as well? Bullet and Passport, Larry. And uh, again, yeah, exactly. Value for your money. You're taking a brand Cougar that's just a little slight step up from a Bullet, and you're getting, again, more options to cap in different spots. Uh, I know our, our manufacturer is pumping about 500,000 units out this, uh, this summer, so there's going to be less spots with power for a lot of campers. That OTG system, uh, it's going to let you go off the beaten path into some more remote areas and you're going to have all the creature comforts of home. Excellent. Well, talk about creature comforts, I see this has an outside kitchen as well. And again, in keeping with our theme this week, uh, or this weekend of bunk bed models, um, I mean, having an outside kitchen when you've got the sleeping capacity that this comes with is just another nice benefit. I just, I mean, uh, having everything, when you're packing up, I mean, the, and then you got less space for a barbecue. Now you, have, you don't have to pack a barbecue. You don't have to bring that extra cooler. It's all in there. It's all in one area. It's less time to set up and uh, less time to take down as well. And that uh, stove top's plumbed right into the propane system, correct? Yeah, so you don't have to bring extra propane tanks either. Your propane two 20-pound tanks are plumbed at the front there all the way to the back, and then you just join that with a quick connect. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, again, value for your money. Huge, huge awning. Some guys want to maybe cut a couple feet off of that. So you're going to get, as you can see, you're going to get your picnic table underneath here. You're going to get your chairs. And again, like I said, they have a really bright interior. Mm -hmm. They're brightening up the exterior too with that new uh, gray out, outside for the fiberglass and that huge LED light as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could sit out here in comfort listening to your stereo with your outside speakers. You're underneath the awning if it's, if it's raining. No need to have to stay inside. Yeah, it's, it's the full package. Yeah, and your full uh, music library, click of a button, Bluetooth speakers, away you go. Okay, excellent. Uh, tr and then da traveling down the road, so value but safety, you're going to the nice uh, aluminum rims, not a steel rim. So that's just going to keep the heat down on that tire. And you're also going to a nice uh, radial tire, like your car passenger tire. Uh, you don't have a cheap bias ply tire on here. There's a steel belt inside here. So it just uh, makes it for, again, peace of mind and uh, longevity. Excellent. Right on. I see there's key TV. Uh, hook up on this as well. So this is offering that same system that Cougar has as well? Yeah, actually uh, most of Keystone brands is doing key TV. So again, it's another standard feature you're not paying extra for, value for your money. You know, a lot of families tell me they don't use satellite when they're camping. I get that. But the next person down the road that you may sell this to or uh, to put it on trade, we're going to look at that and say, hey, like, uh, to have a, a satellite receiver work anywhere on the camper without us doing extra wiring for that, which costs you in the long run, uh, it's nice to have that out here. Yeah, excellent. Well, why don't we take a look inside and see what the uh, uh, floor plan has to offer. Sounds great. Well, we're standing inside this 2021 Keystone Bullet 287 QBS, and first thing I notice is how bright it is, and lots of ceiling height with that uh, curved roof. I mean, the, that crown obviously makes a big difference in, he in headroom, but I just feel like there's so much space in here. Absolutely, Larry. Uh, bullets hit it out the park again. They're taking that momentum from 2020 when they went to this all new redesigned interior and just added a toast of uh, more features to give you more value, more room, that this is an inviting place to come to, that, hey, I'm going to park this at a seasonal spot. This is my second home. You know, I don't feel like I'm coming to a basement or a dungy area. Mm. Uh, it's inviting, and I want to keep. I want to use as, use it as much as I can during yeah. our short summers. Yeah. I mean, a good example is those windows. I mean, huge windows on the on the uh, on the slide side, and I see they all open as well. Yeah. So I, it, again, 
huge window space to give you lots of natural light. And again, they all open. And where, again, Keystone and Keystone Bullet takes it a step further. So all these windows are framed out. So you have aluminum framing all framed out here. So again, when you're going down the road and it's vibrating, you're not gonna have a window falling out. It's just a little bit better construction. And that goes the same for their doors as well. Yeah, well, some people claim that lightweights are cheaply built, but I don't see any indication of that on a bullet. No, absolutely not. And again, value for your money, you're getting the nice nightshades. You know, you're getting a uh, nice uh, Lamborghini up here too as well and uh, USB ports. A lot of slide outs you go into, they don't have any power. Well, that's where a lot of people sit. And then they have a you know an ex a big uh, extension cord trying to charge their stuff. So yeah. it's all right here, built in. Every good electronics that need USB charging. So, you know, the more the better. Yeah, for sure. And another new feature for 2021 is this new, uh, well, it's not a carpet, uh, basically. Looks like carpet. Yeah, very close to it, but uh, easier to wipe down. Uh, you know, it's not going to get stamped out by you and the kids after a couple years of going all over it. Again, it's just something that's going to make you make it the last a lot longer when uh, five, six, seven years down the road. So it looks like carpet. It finishes off the slide real nice, but it feels like it's vinylized. So that would wipe off nice. Yeah, absolutely. Easy to right. clean. You don't have to vacuum like a carpet. That's that's a great idea. Easy to wipe. And then that takes us right to our leather. So all leather, no fabric, easy to wipe down. And again, Bullet wants to take it a step further. Uh, Larry, I'm sure back in the day, setting up the uh, dinette was, you know, it's just another tedious little task, you know. Yeah. Well, having to store the pole someplace, and, and then of course, then those poles are in your way when you go to sit down. Yeah, so with the new Dream dinette, I mean, it's a dream, as in the name. You just push it down. And you got a bed made in 30 seconds. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, that's that's a super feature and I mean a pretty decent size bed too and again They don't a lot of brands don't do this, but they give you doors You know, I don't want to lift the cushion up But I don't want to get the board there and that's easy to get to for those little things and it gives you added storage And that's the full under seat area for storage. Absolutely and actually one other thing too again Real wood cabinets and they got the nice uh, European and hidden hinges again going down the road having this thing vibrate You're not gonna have ca cabinets falling apart that sort of thing. Yeah, excellent makes it a lot more solid clothes too as well What about the sofa here? Is that uh, is that a bed as well? Yeah, so trifold sofa pretty standard these days But where bullet is taking it up a notch again is for new for 2020 is they actually made this a bit wider now Okay, so a little bit wider than the standard one. That's got nice armrest like a sofa would home would have absolutely they want everything to go residential keystones uh model right now is the ultimate ownership and that means having something that's going to last a long time and you could see it in everything they do the cabinets the new vinyl uh carpet i could see that uh when you uh prior to putting that backrest down there's some space underneath you could actually keep these cushions down there out of the way yeah absolutely uh blankets pillows so again hidden storage yeah. And if this is going to be your home on the road, the more storage, the better. Oh, absolutely. You can't have too much storage. Nope. Let's take a look at this kitchen area. Uh, great countertop. Um, looks like it's completely seamless. Um, big sink, stainless steel, uh, high rise faucet. I mean, what more could you want? Yeah, so they've jetted it out too, Larry. A lot of the guys were just going on the side here. So with this jet out, you're getting the all the storage on here okay so and it's accessible from on that side or this side as well too which is really nice full depth drawers that's excellent yeah a little and bit it, it looks like a spice rack or something built in here as well yeah and again where they do you know they're finishing them off with this nice fur plywood here too as well um power station built right in the countertop yeah, that's and, a great idea. And you're not plugging in. They do give you plugins here up too as well, but you're not trying to plug in your toaster and have it hanging off the yeah. wall with up there. So yeah. easy to plug in. And that's then great. hey, I'm setting stuff up for a veggie platter or I'm making dinner. I don't need my power thing here. You still get all this counter space. That's great. Uh, Stove top with the backsplash. And um, it, looks like sealed burners. And again, where they go a step further is you got cast iron on here. Well, I think everybody's got only one set of cast iron pans in their house because of how long they last. 
So again, they just go that much further there. Uh, lit dials, you're gonna use as a night light at night. Um, nice large oven. Actually, it looks like a residential style oven if you ask me. It's, it's not not what my idea of a camper. No, I, I mean, they're just, they're going that much further now. They uh, Customers want this sort of thing and Keystone's delivering on it. Residential is the way uh, that Keystone is taking their RV products and I, people want to feel like they're at home. Again, the ultimate ownership. Great fridge, I mean, stainless steel front, but also very spacious. Yeah, uh, just an eight, instead of a six, again, eight cubic feet. Everywhere I turn, again, it's this little thing, it's this little thing, it's this little thing, but it's really adding up to the overall product. Certainly lots of value, lots of value built in. For sure. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom. What can you tell us about this, Reese? Obviously, I can see it's uh, got a full tub surround, and with a bunk bed model, you want a tub. Yeah, and again, with the tub surround, sometimes they don't put that and you just have a wallpaper on there. Well, you're gonna have to wipe that down every time you're done showering, so. Yeah, they're not waterproof. The wall panel's not waterproof. Absolutely. Again, for the tall guys, you can see here with the curved roof now, you're gonna you get that extra couple inches and you got the big skylight up there too as well for some added natural light in here. A little bit of storage in the bathroom. You got a, you got a nice sink and it's all contained in one area. That's, uh, that's nice. Some bunk bed models, had the sink outside the bathroom just because of space. Here it's all contained. It's all in one. And what I like about this again too is that you get the counter space. Hey, I got a place for our toothbrushes. I have a place for our soaps to wash our hand. It's not just this little thin uh, border around here. And then you got a place for the toilet paper or hair dryer or makeup, whatever, right there. Toilet chemical. They just, they keep giving you more. Yeah, that's excellent. Well, uh, we're in a bunk bed model and uh, bunk area back here behind this pocket door, not a curtain, which again. is another, another, another extra, right? Absolutely, again, just doing the little things. Check that out. So the nice big quad bunks, uh, people like this model, Larry, because hey, I want a bunk room, but I don't want the slide out because of the extra weight, and I don't want to slide out because of the extra length. So this is a perfect length to go and uh, get into those more spots uh, in the campground. And it's a nice lightweight that a lot of half tons can easily tow this. So where again, uh, Keystone's gonna give you, or Bolin in particular, gonna give you value for your money is with the new curved roof. When the kids are up here, they're not banging their head up on the, on the roof. Another thing is you have blackout curtains. You don't have those Venetian blinds that after a few nights sleep, the kids are gonna kick and play with. You actually have blackout shades that, you know, they might sleep in a little later than normal. What's with the dinette back here? Uh, again, you get tired of the kids, <laughs> you can bring them back here and have your own dinner. But you know, that's part of the fun. You're going to have cousins coming with you. You're going to have friends coming with you. So on those rainy days, or if the adults have to be out for a frontier, you got a place for them to eat. And it also converts down to another bed. So you're still sleeping four back here. Well, and a dine is, it isn't always just for eating. I mean, they can play games on that. They can do crafts. They can, you know, sit and read, whatever. It's, it's nice to have a table sometimes that, uh, that you don't need to take up the, the main one out here in the living area. Absolutely. Lots and of I, storage in there too behind you. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> it's just, they could have just put this one big one in the center and left it. They're going to give you more uh, place to fold your clothes and put it on a hanging area. I mean, if you you're, you if you guys want to do a three week trip, no problem. Well, it sleeps four kids back there, so you need storage. Absolutely, and there is storage underneath the dinette too as well, on both sides. Now they've pretty much hit in all bases. Uh, absolutely, and again, you're talking about games, games on your phone, USB ports again as well too. I see this little storage cupboard out here as well. That must be a pantry. Yeah, little pantry. So after demonstrating how much you get underneath the dinette, underneath the couch, in the kitchen. Again, like you said, Larry, er, not enough. There's never enough storage and bullet delivers on that. Looks like adjustable shelves, so you can set them based on what you want to carry. Absolutely. What and, you want to store. And they have another hanger up there too. So I always tell everybody this is stuff, these, these are so deep that I'm probably, I only use two of these shelves and then I take the other one out so I can get a little more extra hanging closet. Excellent. All right. Well, let's, uh, I think we've covered the inside pretty well. Let's step back outside and make sure we haven't missed anything. Absolutely. Okay, so we're back outside the uh, Keystone Bullet 287 QBS 
And this is something I don't think I've ever seen before. That spray attachment that you showed us in the front where the hot and cold water is for, for outside shower, this actually quick connects into this back port here. What, what's the story with this? Again, just uh, ease of uh, spraying stuff down. So if you don't want to bring anybody over there or you're against the bush or something, hey, let's just park our bikes right here, spray stuff off. You got a bike rack on the back, put it on there. Yeah. Or again, the kids, I mean. That's very handy, for, you know, <laughs> access back here to spray stuff off. With, of course, this, this will be cold water only. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there's times when you want to just spray something and you don't need hot water. Like that's an excellent feature. I think that's, that's and, very unique. And it's nowhere near your camp area too, right? So it's, you're not going to have a big puddle of wet mess to carry into the trailer after. Excellent. Yeah. What else can you say uh, prior to closing? Well, to really hammer the point home here about value for your money and what you're getting on here is this just is like a normal back wall, but there's a lot to talk about it. First off, you'll see that sticker right beside you there, Larry. It says walkable roof and rear ladder prep. So twice a year, you want to get up there and check stuff out. And sometimes just looking from the edge of the trailer without you walking up there, you know, you might miss something. So you can f walk up there. Uh, if you want to make it easy that you're not taking a ladder from home, you can put a, a ladder on the back here too. So there's prepping in here. They got it blocked out that you can put a ladder in there to screw it into. So an RV ladder can be mounted to this because they have blocking in the wall. Absolutely. Okay, that's, that's uh, unique because most don't. Yeah, another thing they've done this, uh, this has been a couple years now is fully laminated back wall. So I just tell it, you know what, your kids are back there. The parks can be loud during those long weekends. It's just another barrier. Uh, again, if you're doing May long camping or September long camping, it might get a little cooler out. Again, having that laminate, that uh, rear laminated wall, it's just a bit of better insulation noise wise and heat and cool wise. So this is like the side walls. This has the block foam insulation. Absolutely, okay. yeah. And it's solid. And again, they're framing it all the way out. They're not doing just, and through the inside here too, they're not just doing a perimeter frame. So they're putting more aluminum framing in here than most brands will do that. Uh, again, value for your money, LED lights. When's the last time you turned, switched out an LED light on a, an honey bulb? Uh, haven't. Yeah, so, and these go maybe half the time, like not a quarter of a time that a regular light bulb's on. So you'll never be replacing the bulbs on here. The other thing is when you're doing that early morning, morning tow, towing or late at night, these are very, very bright. People, are no, people behind you know you're gonna be stopping from a far away. So again, safety factor, value for your money. Excellent. Uh, I see it's also got a prep up there too. Yeah, so standard stuff nowadays, but again, it's just gonna make the stress of parking this camper a lot uh, easier. You're not gonna have stress. You have that in there, you're gonna park the camper a lot easier. And again, if you're on your own, that's a huge thing oh, too. Oh, for sure. The families, you know, somebody's working Saturday coming out, you gotta park this on your own. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a lot easier. So Keystone is, has pre-wired this trailer for, for a backup camera. All you need to do if, if you feel that something that you want is to buy the camera itself and connect it and you're done. Yeah, and it's uh, through Bluetooth. So you're gonna have, uh, just put it in your little cigarette lighter or USB port there in your vehicle. And you're gonna have, a, and the screen's inside there. And that's gonna talk to the camera out back here while you're towing. Excellent. Well, I think, you know, Keystone has really delivered with the Bullet product. Uh, this would be an excellent floor plan for a lot of families. It hits on pretty much all the bases that I can think of. And for th those of you watching, if you think this model is one that would work for your family and be one that would work for you for many years to come, you know what, we've got people standing by at 306-525-5666. Give us a call, we can take a deposit over the phone and protect that virtual sale pricing that we have on right now and also answer any questions you may have on some of the features maybe we didn't touch on enough or we didn't touch on at all. So by all means, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in and we'll be back.
Well, welcome back to the Village RV virtual sale. I'm Larry Ortman. I'm here with Jock Landry. We're standing in front of this 2021 Cougar 368 MBI fifth wheel. Now, this is a mid bunk, and it is, of course, one of Keystone's flagship lines and has a whole bunch of really nifty features. Jock, why don't you touch on some of that stuff for us? Yes, actually, uh, started off with uh, all the Cougar fifth wheels. Uh, they all come standard with the Road Armor pin box. So basically, this is a pivoting head rubber mounted, and it, it actually controls the, the chucking when you're towing with the trailer. Another nice little feature, Larry, is with a lot of the trucks, when you look, go to back up into your trailers, you know, the extended cab trucks, uh, you can't see your pin box in your truck. So basically, just look in your rear view mirror, you'll actually see your fifth wheel hitch coming right from this here. You'll from the see reflection your, here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it bounces off there. If you're doing it at night, you do also have the docking light here. And then these are just extra lights, that the LEDs that you can turn on and off. Um, really lights everything up really nice in your campsite if you like. Very nice. <clears throat> it's, it's a nice touch. I like the front cap too, the, uh, just the, the whole design, the, the way the graphics are, uh, the lettering. It looks very, very modern and, and very, very, very tasteful. I, I like it a lot actually. Yeah, it's all base coat, clear coat, so you're not going to have that, like a lot of traders will have the gel coat caps. This is actually base coat, clear coat, same automotive finish as what your vehicle has. All right. Uh, now I understand there's a docking station on this, being a fifth wheel? Yes, just if you want to come around just off to the side here, I can show you that. So you'll notice with this, as soon as I walked up to the, you know, whether you open the door or just walk up to it, you notice the lights automatically came on. So with this docking station, this is really nice. Uh, basically for, you have wind rising, you do all your wind rising outside, you know, drain your water heater, and then you've got your water heater bypass. Uh, you just flip this valve here to wind rise. So you hook up your garden hose to your jug of antifreeze right to here and drain the water heater and then uh, just turn on, go through all the taps, run the taps till the antifreeze is through the whole system and all done. You don't have to go into a cupboard or try to find your pump. It's all right, nice, tight in here. You also have a battery disconnect, so when you're not using the trailer, it's just a matter of flipping the switch. It turns off all the power, so when you go to use, you know, if you're, let's say, you're parked, uh, you know, during the week, you, you come back camping Sunday night, turn off your battery. When you come back on Friday to use your camper again, just turn the battery back on and away you go. Excellent. This also is pre-wired for the solar panel as well. I see the plug there, yeah. Yeah, so with this, you have a choice of going standard. It comes with uh, the solar plug-in. So if you have a portable satellite dish, it's prepped. you can just plug into that. And then, exact, you could also order the ZAMP solar system with solar panels up on the roof and inverter and all that. That's the off-the-grid program. The off, yeah, package. the OTG package. Okay. Yeah. All your gate valves are heated and enclosed. You have the black tank flush, so it's just a matter, like after you dump your septic tank, just hook on the garden hose to here and spray inside the tank, just to kind of give it a rinse. Okay. Well, we're inside the 2021 Keystone Cougar 368 MBI, and standing in the back living room here, very nicely decorated, uh, all the creature comforts, cedar seating in front of a great big TV, 4K as a matter of fact, uh, big fireplace, I mean, what's, what's not to like? This is a, this is a home away from home, definitely. Oh yes, this floor plan, really popular. Basic 50 inch TV, Larry, it's all 4K. Uh, pulls out, swivels, so if you have somebody sitting at the back here watching, if you're laying on the sofa, or up at the front, you can swivel it all the way around. You'll notice, Larry, there's lots of room even for my VHS tapes to go back Oh, here. yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's huge storage in behind it. Yeah, TV. you got the big collection of VHS. I'm not sure why, but... Uh, my machine's still, still flashing at 12 o'clock, Larry. <laughs> 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 uh, also, at the back, you'll have some USB ports on both sides. Uh, 110 volt plugs. So if you can charge, you want to charge your phones or iPads, stuff like that. You'll notice throughout the trailer, Larry, there's uh, USB ports everywhere. Yeah, that's. Um, this unit here has the trifold sofa at the back. So really nice and easy. Just pull the cushions off, folds out. Most comfortable high to bed in the industry. Excellent. Big picture window that opens. That's excellent. Lots of storage up here as well. Yes. That's huge. All hardwood lumber construction in the cabinets. Glass inserts. All screwed together. Yeah. 
That's excellent. one thing with Cougar, you'll notice lots of big windows, like on the slide, your campground side, you've got the big windows, blackout shades. So if you do want to sleep in in the morning, it's just a matter of pulling down a shade. They're all nice, solid blackout shades. Oh, excellent. These. Nice roller blinds too. Yeah. I noticed there's switches on these. Is this is this heated or or uh, what does it do? Well, these uh, basically with your cup holders here, it's where your light switches are for your front of your sofa and in your cup holders. You've got heated seats and massage. Nice. Excellent. Just have a seat, late, sit on that, and recline. Unbelievable. You'll fall asleep. That'll you can call that an extra bedroom. Wow, that's They're awesome. They're so comfortable. That's excellent. Also, you have the fireplace comes with these. Uh, so it's nice, 5,000 uh, BTU fireplace, nice and warm inside the trailer. Like instead of using your propane in the summertime, if it's a little bit cool at night or during the day, fire that up, nice little heat source. It's like a dehumidifier de where it dries out the moisture in the air. Yeah, check yeah. that out, that's beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Lots of storage as well, so you can put remotes, movies, everything. There's lots of storage in here, you'll notice. Yeah. Tons. Yeah. Glass top on the uh, on the on the range. That's nice. Yeah. Glass top, cast iron burners, and uh, the burners cast iron. The grates are all cast iron. Nice big oven on these as well. Excellent. Lots of room for all kinds of kitchen gadgets. Is that yeah. a drawer? Yeah. A nice big drawer for pots and pans if you want to put it inside there. You'll see plug-ins for your coffee maker, some more USB ports. Oh yeah, that's got the pop-up power station. Yes, that's yeah, excellent. Pops up and down there. Room for a garbage can in here, even. I in see the that. Island. Well, how many traders I don't have that? Br Brad can get around with the camera, but yeah, that's pretty spacious. Nice big under under mount cabinet uh, kitchen sink on the island, all stainless steel, high rise high rise faucets. Then you can have your sprayer. Solid surface? Yes, yeah, solid surface countertops throughout the whole coach on the Cougars. No little T moldings that go in on the edge that's going to shrink. Yeah, that's you know, Especially if you get water on the counter, you're not going to have any uh, water getting in behind to expand Oh, that's that. excellent. Excellent. Uh, huge big four door fridge. Oh, yes. Yeah, this one here is equipped with uh, um, propane and electric fridge, 110 volt fridge. Uh, matter of just turning it on. You'll see all your settings are all up on top here, but gives you lots of space. Okay, excellent. Beautiful. And again, some more cabinets besides the fridge. I think you just don't run out of cabinet storage in this unit. Yeah, that's beautiful. Lots of storage. Yep. And then uh, this one here is equipped with the booth dinette. So it gives you lots of storage in underneath. You'll notice, Larry, how often do you see this? You know, Solid wood, nice wood, three eighths plywood. That's excellent. For your storage. Nice fabric as well. Yes, nice and easy. You can just wipe it if the kids spill on here. And the dinette cushions are not your typical RV cushions. They're uh, you know much more you know fancy, stylish looking than you know your typical RV. Yep. Yeah. And then here you have the dimmable lights on your slide out. So when the kids are gone out to the lake, you can turn down the lights. And I have a nice evening. <laughs> yeah, excellent. And for 2021, you'll notice uh, with the wood paneling, no more white ceiling. So it kind of would help with me to hide the bugs of mosquitoes when I swat them. Nice little bit darker wood grain uh, ceiling panels on these as well. Nice fixture over the over the uh, main countertop as well. Oh yeah, residential feel to the Cougars. Very much. Yeah, very much. What do we have in here? This is a little hiding spot. If you have, uh, you need a bunk bedroom. This gives you your own private room. This is a tri-fold sofa, so two adults could sleep on here really nice and comfortable. You have throughout the whole unit the blackout shades and lots of storage. Room for a TV on this wall here. You've got big closet storage shelving units, full pull-out drawers. Lots more cabinets in here. And there's a slide out in here where the sofa is. That's why yes. it feels so big. Yeah, it gives you lots of room in here. Again, hooked up with key TV in the bedroom, USB ports, everything all inside here. Excellent. Yep, and there's a little hiding spot up on top, but this is uh, another open loft up here. Well, let's check that out as well. 
So this trailer sleeps a lot of people, so this gives you a ton of space for sleeping up top. You've got a ladder that's built into the hallway here, and then even storage up top. So it gives you a load capacity of 800 pounds up here. So that ladder just pulls out for people yep. to get up? Yeah, just lifts up, pulls okay. out. Really simple. That's very convenient. Yeah. Another thing, Larry, I don't know if uh, we've talked much about this, but with the Cougar fifth wheels, this is the in command center. So what's really neat with this system here, I can turn my lights on and off throughout the coach, my awning lights. I can go and set my HVAC system, so my air conditioning, front air conditioner, rear air conditioner, furnace, that can all be set up on here. You can even schedule it to when it cuts in and out. You have your slide controls are all through here. So if you want to run your bedroom slides, sofa slide, kitchen slide, that's all, all through here. Then uh, you can also uh, go and run your awnings out. And the real nice thing within Command Larry, you can actually download a free uh, app on your phone and you can actually do this outside. You can operate all this stuff on your phone? Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Makes it really nice and easy to operate. You never have to get out of your chair? No, no. Not at all. And then uh, we'll get uh, Brad to just kind of scan into the bathroom there and I'll show uh, the nice size bathroom. This one gives you that 48 inch shower. Lots of room. Glass shower doors. Lots of storage of vanity. Big sinks. Storage underneath the vanity. Uh, linen closet. Everything all inside there. You really aren't roughing it when you're away from home with this. Oh no, not this unit sliding bathroom door so you whether you're coming from the bedroom or coming up the stairs you can just slide the door to get into the bathroom excellent yeah that's very nice great tub surround or shower surround that's oh yes it gives you lots of space gives you a little sit tub area uh, and it's attractive i mean it looks nice mm -hmm. oh, very, yeah. very all well again, done like we were saying earlier all residential feel yeah yeah, countertops on this, on the bathroom sink, again, no edge, no T-molding on it. So it's a one piece. So again, it's going to be very durable, lasts Under, for years. Undermount sink as well. Yes. You know, it's just so easy to wipe the counters when you don't have the that lip. Yes. Oh, let's check out the master bedroom. So in the master bedroom, uh, you'll notice we do have a nice window on the side here and on the bed that you've got the cross ventilation on the windows as well. And this, you can use this as a shelving in here or it's actually pre-plumb for washer dryer. So that's a nice feature to have. If, if you're gonna spend that a seasonal site, let's say, gives you lots of room for that. Also in here, gives you the big front closet. And on this side here, it gives you again some more space, some USB ports, plug-ins, um, the little cabinet there you can set a sleep apnea machine on, and you have plug-ins and USBs on both sides of the bed. Full-size, king-size bed in here. That's beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, you'll notice, Larry, it's a memory foam style bed as well, the mattress. That's not a cheap RV mattress. No, no, no. These are very comfortable. Excellent. And there's storage underneath as well. Oh yeah. So you can put some extra sheets underneath. Yeah, you got that little bit, bit extra space above the slide mechanism and uh, it's not wasted. Yeah. Right on. Well, I think we've covered this one pretty well. Maybe we just slide back out here again. And this is also pre-wired for a TV in the bedroom as well. Oh, of course with Key TV you were mentioning there's no extra wiring. Everything just works in every location. Yes. It's yeah. all Whether set up. you want to put your satellite receiver um, in, uh, in the back living room here, it'll work there. Or if you want to put the satellite receiver in the bedroom, you could have one receiver there, one out here. It'll play on each channel at each TV. So it mixes it around and there's no pre-wiring. Excellent. Well, this is a great floor plan, a, a great overall package for um, a couple, a couple with kids, a couple that want to have extra people. I mean, with the sleeping capacity you have, you pretty much have all bases covered depending upon how you want to use it. Okay. And for those of you that have been watching, if you think this is the model for you, that this is one that you'd like to make your very own, please call us at 306-525-5666. We have people standing by that can answer questions that you may have in regards to this particular model. Uh, 
go over in more detail some of the things that we showed but didn't cover you know enough detail for you um, and we can take a deposit so we'd love to do that for you if you want to make this your own we can do that right over the phone call us again at 306 525 6 and we have people there to help you thanks for tuning in we'll be back thank you Well, thank you everybody for joining us for day two of our virtual sale. Uh, I hope you learned lots. And again, if you saw the one that you loved, give us a call. If you want to know more about it or if you want to put a deposit on it, 306-525-5666. And uh, what we've shown today is just a drop in the bucket of what we actually have on our lot. So go to villagerv.ca and we're going to have a lot more units on there that we haven't shown today. Uh, also, the winners of the uh, prizes again will be announced on our Facebook page at the conclusion of this uh, ending here. So thank you so much. I uh, hope you learned lots and had some fun with us.
Okay. 